First question, a relatively simple one, I think. Um, uh, what is the first album that you bought? The first album I bought, I don't know, but I know the first album I bought together with my father because I didn't have the money. There was a um, crazy world uh, from Scorpions. Scorpions? Yeah, yeah. It wasn't some ordinary grocery store. They were just selling a few CDs and that, that was actually the first one, yeah. Of course, I had some stuff before and tapes and everything, but that was actually the first one I bought, yeah. And well, what, why specifically this album? Um, I just wanted to have a CD and that was the hardest one they had. So if they had, have had, had had, 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 had um, Motorhead or something like that, I would have bought maybe that one. But um, yeah, that was the hardest one they had. And um, to, um, to be honest, back in the days, um, the songs weren't that annoying, you know. So Wind of Change weren't played like a thousand times on the radio per day. So uh, it was still a really a thrilling album. And I just listened to it a few weeks ago and it, it's still a good record. Yeah. How important is Scorpions for German rock scene? The, the Scorpions is the German rock scene, <laughs> actually. There's a lot of uh, German-speaking acts like really good music as well, but um, yeah, Scorpions is the first band, except Rammstein nowadays also has like a lot of international success, but Scorpions is still the German rock fly to the moon, you know, like the biggest thing that, that ever was. and. Uh, and they are still like very well respected for it in Germany. Yeah. Is it feels something that uh, haven't shall burn? Uh, do you take an example in in in, in Scorpions? Um, not really in Scorpions. More more in Rammstein because okay, yeah. um, they were always kind of you know I, I wouldn't say blueprints, but the band you look up to they because they already started to play music in socialist times behind the Iron Curtain, you know, playing in punk bands and really risking um, to go to jail for playing like uh, rebellish music and, and all that stuff. And uh, as Rammstein, they played their first shows in our area, you know, so we still saw Rammstein playing in clubs with 200 people or, or something like that, you know. and. Uh, yeah, we just saw how big that band got and how innovative they are and we're from the same area and also grew up in former East Germany and everything. So that was always something you were looking up to, not like music wise or something like that. But um, yeah, that without compromise attitude they have, that is something that is um, we adapted as well, I guess. Is it, is it for you, you were saying you grew up from the same area in East Germany? Um, is it something that, that, that is still really important for you to this day? It is, yeah, because um, there are still big differences between East and West Germany. And um, I mean, you have to imagine when, I, when the wall came down, I was 11, 12, 13 something years old, around that age, and I already had like 10 years of living in a socialist system, you know, which is absolutely different. And you had to switch to capitalism from one day to another. For me as a kid, it was okay, but of course I was still educated in a way. But for my parents, it was like horror, you know. Why, 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 why horror? Why horror? Because, um, yeah, a simple example. If you, if you go um, to a shop and buy a television, you know, like nowadays the guy tries to sell you that stuff, you know. And back in the days in socialist time, it was like a state-owned store and everything. The guy didn't have any interest to sell you something. So he would tell you what is wrong with that television and why you should buy a better one or, or anything like that, you know. So people had to learn stuff like that. So they were screwed and ripped off a, lo a lot of time like people yeah. in, in East Germany, you know. And um, um, But we still have that attitude um, to work together, you know. and. Uh, to participate in things as a group and uh, that like the individual in our band doesn't mean so much and that we are more like a collective and something. I guess that is something we still um, 
yeah, took over from, from these times, you know.